while we're testing, and I talked a little bit about this in our last lesson, while we are testing, our, main, our second goal in testing, remember, I talked about this, our second goal of testing is to identify and report the defects that we find. We've got to flush out the problems. So not only do we want to make sure that software does exactly what the business needs it to do, but we also have to find and, and flush out the defects. So through testing, we're going to run into these defects. You know, if we're going to be testing every function, every button, and every field of an application, well, if there are any problems with any of those things, we're going to find them. We don't fix them. We report them. We report those to the developers who created the system. And here we go. So the defects that we find are resolved by the technical team and then they come back to us. The technical team says, hey, we fixed your defect. What do we do? We do the logical thing. We retest it again to make sure they really did fix it. We don't just take their word for it. You know, at the end of the day, when that system goes out the door, our job as QA is to make sure it works and it works right. We never assume that something has been done. So even though the developer said, hey, we fixed these defects, our job is to always retest to make sure they really did fix the defect. A lot of times, you'd be surprised, a lot of times, we find that they didn't fix those defects or there was a problem and they didn't fix it all the way. I mean, I can go on and on with different things that happen, but we'll keep it there. Once we, QA, has completed testing, the business is then brought in. You know, once we're all done and we've had, we've tested it, we've made sure backwards and forwards that it works, it's going to work for the business, we're confident that we found all of the defects and we made sure they were fixed, we retested them again, our job is not completely done. What we do is we hand it off to the business. Now when I say the business, we're not giving it to the whole entire business. We're just we're giving it to a few people within the business, the experts, the ones that were part of helping to define the requirements. Those people in the very beginning that helped us figure out, well not helped us, but they are the ones that helped define what they needed. They helped document and to find the business requirements. We hand it off to them and they do their own type of test. And that test is called a user acceptance test. Kind of makes sense in the name, right? User acceptance test. The users are testing the product, the solution, the application to make sure it's going to do what they need it to do. This is done before that product goes out to thousands and thousands of people. You know, we it's kind of like you give us uh, you want a house created. You come up with the initial design of the house, right? You hand it off to the architects and the builders. They come, they build it. I'll get into more lower level examples later, but they build it. They give it. They then before you sign off and give them the check and pay for it, right? They you uh, you come back and you you look at your house to see, hey, did they do it right? Before I pay them a hundred thousand dollars for my new house, I want to make sure they did everything that I told them to do before I write that check. That's basically kind of what this is. I mean, it is us or not us? Sorry, it is the business making sure before they accept the application that it's doing everything they needed to do all right so they're doing their own testing I'll talk more about this because we are a little bit involved in this 
we kind of help them we hold their hands you know we manage this part of testing but it is performed by the business once the business says hey it's great it's working perfectly and I wish it was always that easy <laughs> it's not but sometimes it is you know sometimes it is uh, and the reason I say that is because sometimes the business will say well you know what it'd be great if we could put this here or, you know we changed our minds about this we want this a little bit differently sometimes that happens so we have to go back again and do some more things but let's say it's a perfect world and the business tests it they love it they have no changes they're ready to accept it well we basically ask for that check the check is really them signing off and sign off is usually done either by through email or sometimes we make it more official but basically it's you know somebody sending an email the main person the manager saying you know we tested it we're happy we accept the application we feel it's ready to go live once that sign off is done the product will then go live it'll get deployed it'll get installed it'll go out to the users and QA we get to go out and celebrate uh, our job is never done after this but you know it is we've this is our major milestone that we've been working so hard to reach for the past so many months you know sometimes a project will last a couple months sometimes it lasts a year sometimes it lasts two years so and just because the application goes live doesn't mean we are all the way finished there's still testing that has to be done okay so let me back up a little bit I like to go through these um, trying to hammer this uh, in your heads so go through it a little bit more quicker uh, requirements the very first thing that usually happens is the requirements get defined the business defines what they need gets handed to the technical team the technical team just defines what they need we now have business and technical requirements the product then goes or the requirements then go to the technical team they have to come up with their design okay this is like the architect doing the blueprint for the house they come up with the design once they're happy with that design they hand off their blueprint to the builders here we are handing it off to the technical team and the technical team is going to do what they're gonna build the application they're going to develop it just like the builders would start building the house once ooh, I went a little too fast once the house is ready once the application is ready once the system is ready it comes to the testers okay and the building world you know you bring in the inspector right uh, I'm just uh, you know I've haven't had a house built but I know people that have once they build it once the builders are done they have to bring the inspector and the inspector makes sure everything was built to up to code up to standard it's kinda similar to us you know we are testing it to make sure it's built to the business's specifications we want to make sure it's doing everything the business needs it to do we test it like I said to make sure it's doing everything the business needs it to do how do we know what the business needs it to do requirements 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 while we're testing we're gonna find problems we're gonna report those problems just like the inspector would you know maybe he finds a leak or something like that he's gonna report that he's gonna put that in his report it's gonna go to the builders they're gonna fix it in software we do the same thing we report the problems it goes to the developers they fix it 
and we retest it to make sure they really did fix it. Alright, that's what we do right here in this box. We, we test it, we make sure that the defects are fixed, we retest. Uh, once we're comfortable, once we're happy, we bring the business in. We say, come on business, this software is ready. Give it a shot. The business comes in. Uh, again, not the whole business, just a couple people. The business comes in, they sit down, they test it, they make sure it's doing what they need to do. They're making sure it's acceptable to them. User acceptance test. Is the application acceptable to the users? If it is, they sign on the dotted line and the product will then go into production. Okay, product will then go into production. This is very high level, you guys. I didn't talk to you about a lot of things that go on. I didn't talk to you about how we get ready for testing. We don't just jump in and test. We don't. We have to get ready for testing. I would say 75% of our job as a tester is to get ready for this. We have to get ready for the application to get handed to us. We don't just jump in and test. We have to get prepared. So while all of this is happening, we are getting prepared. We're going to talk more about that in a little bit here. Okay? Let's move on. 